So I get a call last Friday from a customer. She had a new boiler installed. The old boiler gave up the ghost. It cracked. In addition to the boiler, they replaced part of the steam return. Now, she had a dry steam return on a ledge above the water line, which was inch and a quarter black pipe, and they replaced it with one-inch copper tubing. Ever since they did this, she's got nothing but noises and all sorts of banging she never had before. She reached out to me, but because she's in Queens, which is about an hour away from where I'm based, I told her I really don't travel out there, but I agreed to look at some videos she sent me. Now, this video is a little fuzzy, but you'll get the idea of, of what was done. And my question to you pros out there is, what do you think? Should this return be dropped down to the floor? Did he do the wrong thing by converting the black pipe to copper? Why is she getting all these noises? We'll, we'll take a look. Uh, I would like some discussion down in the comments down below uh, and, and see what you think. She was beside herself. Uh, she had two other guys come in after I looked at her video and uh, one of them immediately told her that that return belongs down below the water line. And so I want to know from you guys, what do you think? Let's check this video out and I'll catch you at the end of this video. Stay tuned. All right, so in this clip that she sent me, in addition to the boiler installation, he put a new dry return. He took steel pipe, inch and a quarter steel pipe off the ledge, put one inch copper. Ever since this has been done, she's been getting nothing but banging noise. What the new guy that she called wants to do is take it back to this two by inch and a quarter elbow, reduce it back to inch and a quarter and drop it down to the floor and bring it back to the boiler. What do you think? So in the process of replacing a new steam boiler, this contractor also replaced a section of dry return that you see up there on the ledge. Now what was there was inch and a quarter black steel pipe. What was installed was one inch copper tubing, M style copper tubing. Ever since this was done, she's getting all sorts of noise, banging that she never got before. So my question to all the pros out there is, does this return belong on the floor, below the water line, or is it okay where it was? So why didn't that inch and a quarter black steel return make noise when it was up on the ledge? And now that it's one inch copper, it's making all sorts of noise. Does it belong below the water level? We're gonna take a look at the first video she sent me also. Originally, when they piped the new steam boiler, they actually made the equalizer or the line dropping back down to the uh, Hartford loop, one inch copper. She complained about it. Somebody told her it had to be minimally an inch and a half. Actually, nobody told her. She went in the manual of the boiler manufacturer and it states right there what size that equalizer dropping down to the loop has to be. For the love of me, I just can't figure out why people don't follow the installation instructions. The manufacturers put them in there for a reason, guys. Read them, follow them to the T, and you're going to eliminate most of your callbacks and 99% of other problems. The guy came back and he changed it, but he still left that one inch copper return, dry return, if you will, up on the ledge. She's still getting noises. It's still banging. She reached out to me. So let's explore. What do you guys think? What are you pros, the guys that are watching this? What do you think? What's the right solution to her problem? So Shiori reached out to somebody and he came over and basically first thing he said when he walked in was the return belongs down on the floor below the water line. And you know what? I agree with him. The way that one inch copper return is up on that ledge there, it's not even pitched. He just laid it on a level ledge. As far as I'm concerned, that's not a return line. That's a steam pipe. And steam is migrating into the return, hitting the water that's sitting on the bottom because you know that that water can't work its way back to the boiler. So let's take another look. Put your opinions down below. And uh, why do guys do things like this? So here's the front of the boiler. You can see the header going up and he wrapped around. Now, originally, she told me it was a two by one inch elbow and he used one inch M copper as the equalizer going down into the Hartford loop. He came back, increased it to inch and a half as per the manufacturer's instructions and then tied in that um, dry return on the ledge. It's not right, guys. This is not the way you do things. So as an addendum, guys, I'm on a job this week. My phone rings now. When I'm in somebody's house, I don't answer the phone. I got outside. I saw it was from this lady who sent me this video. 
I called her back. She was really upset because the original contractor called her up very angry and said, there's nothing wrong with the job. I want to come over and look at it. Now, the funny thing is, when he did this job, he never even showed up. She said his workers came. He never showed up once to see what was going on. Now he's telling her, I want to get over there. He's very angry that she called him up and complained. And needless to say, I said, you know, the best thing you can do is just, you know, don't pay any attention to him. Don't let him in the house anymore. Just go find somebody who's going to be able to correct this. But guys, this is what goes on. Shouldn't be. So there you go, guys. This is what goes on in life every day. What do you think? I would like your comments down below. Tell me what you think. Does that return, should he put it down to the floor? Should he leave it up on the ledge? Should he pitch it on the ledge? Should he raise one end up so the water drains back? What are you guys thinking? I know what I would do. I immediately would drop that return down to the floor. I never would have put it back up on the ledge, especially if I was gonna use copper tubing. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got a little education out of it or a little uh, thought into what goes on out there in the field and how you should vet out your contractors before you hire them. If you're not a subscriber here, I highly recommend you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of when I post a new video. But more importantly, hit that like button. Smash that like button because YouTube will put videos like this in front of more eyes. Anyway, keep an eye out for one of these two videos that are going to pop up here to my left and right. One of them I chose, one of them YouTube chose. I want to thank you all for stopping by once again. I want to wish everybody happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and all that good stuff because I think it's about Christmas in two weeks. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Stay well. And as always, happy plumbing.